great flood Noah had lived to very great age when the flood of waters came upon the earth God said to Noah Come into the ark you and all who are with you Seven days from now I will cause it to rain upon the earth for forty days and forty nights and every living thing I have made I will destroy from off the face of the earth and Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him He entered the ark with Shem and Ham and Jabez, Jabez, his sons, his own wife, and the wives of his sons, birds and beasts and creeping things of very kind came to Noah and went into the ark, two by two, the male and the female, as God had commanded. Then. The Lord shut Noah in the ark, and the waters of the flood were upon the earth. All the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the window of heaven opened. The rain fell upon the earth forty days and forty nights. The waters swelled and lifted the ark. above the earth the flood spread and the waters continued to rise up in the earth and the ark floated up in the face of the water the waters rose higher and higher up in the earth until all the high mountains under heaven were covered 45 feet more did the waters rise above the high mountains and they were indeed covered. Every living thing that moved upon the earth died. Birds, cattle, beasts, every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life, every man and Every living thing which was upon the face of the ground were destroyed. Only Noah and those who were with him remained alive. God remembered Noah and every living creature with him in the ark. God caused the wind to pass over the earth and to quiet the waters.